Hello everyone, today I finished object video and at the same time my new pattern which I called Love Spring Socks. You've seen it, I'm going to show it again. are a toe-up socks with afterthought heel the way I like it to knit them. Normally with my patterns you will have slightly different recipe for a toe. Over here I used my basic one and basic afterthought heel. I had a fun uh, playing with the colors and this is as you can see a uh, color work but double stranded. You may notice in my patterns collection I have three um, pair three pairs of socks called Garden Seed Socks, Garden View Socks and Garden Bloom Socks and they are based on the slip stitch method which is a single strand so you're only holding one strand and the time to do that and in those socks you slip stitches. Over here to achieve this we will be holding two strands at a time unless, and this is written in the pattern, you will end up in this round I think one or either 11 in the pattern if you wanted to put after thought heel just to do a slip stitch over that so that will that will kind of makes more sense anyway everything is written down so we have a chart for the foot we have a chart for the leg as you can see I love it <laughs> and because lately I organize giveaways giveaways that I knit socks and I give them away for my subscribers or my members in March so hopefully still I think we have a these socks we have these socks so as you can see I just kind of use this motif. It just I was playing with it and actually I knitted uh, socks for April already. I can't show you. I really would want to and I have a, this motif so I just gather it together and and just made a beautiful pair of socks. As I said the pattern is toe up socks. I think in this situation you could knit it uh, from the cuff would be easier to kind of transform the pattern but it's it's actually written, written for toe up. As I said that we have two charts. There will be a, a link to afterthought heel tutorial and also to the toe tutorial. I used um, tubular bind off so there will be also a link over here for tutorial. And we have four sizes over here. Maybe if you're a knitter, I would just tell you with number of stitches. So 48, 56, 64, and 72 stitches. Even though it is written for fingering weight yarn, uh, over here I knitted size two, so 56 stitches, but I could definitely hold fingering double or DK weight yarn, oh, fingering double, and knit the same thing in 48 stitches for that DK or holding double strands together. But in that case, I would use US size two, which is 2.75 millimeters and now for my fingering weight for this pair I use US size 1 which is 2.25 millimeters the gauge I got 32 stitches so 8 stitches uh, 8 stitches per 1 inch but if you knitted a few pairs already you know what your number is so you just kind of pick the one you want so I'm so happy to introduce this to you down below I'm going to include a coupon code that will be valid for a very short period of time if you would want to become a member, so join button, maybe I'll leave a video over here if you would want to learn something about it, what's that about, that's kind of monthly subscription for my YouTube channel. And one of the perks of that is also an annual discount code. Uh, I think for level one, I gave 10% and for level two, I gave 15%. So um, definitely use it if you can. And then you probably are wondering what kind of yarns I used. I only use what I had in my stash. We have four colors over here and for my size, maybe on the screen, I'm going to tell you how many grams I used and also that information will be available in the pattern for my for that, for that size. I started with this line which I needed 30 grams for both socks and the brown that's 30 grams for both socks. The navy color and this kind of fuchsia, um, I use 10 grams for both socks. So now this one is a brown one, it's from Drops Fable and this is 300, that's the color I used. For lime color I use some Knit Picks, fingering weight yarn. For navy color I also use Knit Picks and this is Stroll Navy. And for the fuchsia color, or I call it raspberry actually in the pattern, because I was thinking what color is it? And this is Regia. Raja, Raja. 
So you can mix everything, whatever leftovers you have. And obviously you can even play with different stripes with different ways. Um, thank you so much for supporting me, buying my patterns or joining the membership on YouTube. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.